In her death, Margaret Thatcher remains an incredibly divisive figure. In fact, many people in this country went out and partied after Margaret Thatcher died. Even immediately after her death, Margaret Thatcher was dividing the UK, so much so that there were parties across the country to celebrate her passing away. In Brixton, where there were riots in 1981 due to perceived police racism, unemployment and poverty, about 500 people turned up. They even changed the sign on the ritzy cinema in Windrush Square. Lol. <laughs> Up in Scotland, which suffered rocketing unemployment as mine steelworks and other industries were shut down, 300 people showed up. In Yorkshire's cities and towns, the centre of the mid-1980s miners' strikes, there were more parties. And over in Belfast, the Republican community partied in part because of her actions during the hunger strikes in which 10 prisoners starved themselves to death. So from the videos being uploaded, it's pretty clear there's still a lot of hate for Thatcher. But in the virtual world, things were a bit more balanced. A bit. There were some brutally honest opinions from people like George Galloway, Tramp the Dirt and May She Burn in the Hellfires being just two examples. There was a campaign against a state funeral arguing privatisation is what she would have wanted anyway. And the Facebook page celebrating her death picked up nearly 40,000 fans. But there were also people taking to Twitter to defend her, saying how disappointed they were with the people partying, pointing out some of the good things Thatcher achieved during her time as PM, and just saying she was a mum and a gran and whatever the politics spare some thoughts for the family. There was even a backlash against the Thatcher is Dead website. The creators say they've received threats via Twitter since they updated from not yet to yes. But whatever side of the Thatcher fence people sat on, people were agreed that she was such a big influence on UK politics that she may be dead, but she's definitely not gone. So is it fair to party after someone's death? Do let us know your thoughts about it in a comment or check out some of our other videos. We've got one about why young people are less interested in politics than they used to be. And who can miss the big story of the moment? North Korea, could it annihilate us all? That's there, but the most important thing you can do is to hit subscribe. We'll see you again next time.